<clears throat> uh, so, uh, this is a review on the has -been Hotel pilot. Um, so, uh, this is a scripted, so I have no idea what the fuck I'm gonna say. So I'm just gonna talk. Uh, so I watched this on a pirate site. Jack Sparrow was there, and we played a game of poker together. And then we played Uno, and I pulled an Uno reverse card on him. It was really epic, and um, then he said, hey, have you ever seen this show, The Has Been Hotel? Uh, it's only one episode, but that one episode is worth more than any series on Netflix put together. So I said, okay, right, let's, let's watch this shit. So Jack Sparrow called his uh, his runner boys, and they, they got a, a Samsung 2006 TV out and plugged it into the internet, and we had to dial up internet, and uh, once we'd done that, uh, it was epic. We connected. Uh, the download speed was two, uh, two download. I seem to recall, uh, much better than Virgin Media, which is fucking shit. And then BT Internet. Like, who the fuck uses BT Internet? It's actual garbage. Okay, uh, I, I digress. So, Husband Hotel is a is a show about a man, a beautiful man named Angel Dust. Uh, he has a he has a he has a fluffy pair of uh, boobs. Uh, I'm not joking, by the way. That's not a meme. He genuinely does. Fucking. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> yes, so, so that's Angel Dust. Um, and it's about this this girl can, like, sing or whatever. And then she starts this hotel. <laughs> Fucking, this is such an awful description. Of... <laughs> no, that's... I'm just going to Google the, the pilot and read it out. Okay. Husband Hotel is an American adult animated black comedy. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Alright. <laughs> okay. 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 Um. <laughs> Wow, X3 does is hot. Fucks. Why am I laughing? This is a scripted. I'm not making myself. I'm making myself laugh. Fuck's sake. Oh, right, I better go with this. So, um, so uh, what I can say about this show, like, if I talk serious for a minute, is the animation is like really creative and um, really expressive, and all the characters have quite a flair to them, although they do kind of blend into each other a bit because they all look kind of too similar and they're all like over designed and shit. Um, also, Angel Dust has a penis, which is I, I've got I've got to edit that out. There's no fucking way I can. There's no way. Am I seriously gonna edit this? Or am I just gonna? Right. So, so yeah, that, that's the that's the 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 summary overall. Uh, uh, the music is okay, I guess. I don't fucking like musicals, so I give it like a five out of ten. Uh, in terms of the music, uh, the animation is okay, I guess, but there's too many characters on the screen. It reminded me of when I last went to like a bar in uh, London. Like, there's like so many people around, even though it's social distancing rules. Like. Just everywhere, mate, and like you, you can't even fucking get up to go for like a drink or whatever. Uh, so many people get so little happening. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, it's a comedy show, and the mark of a good comedy show is like any good, uh, any good episode of Black Mirror, it, it makes me laugh. I've never seen Black Mirror, so I can't make that joke. I can't make that joke. I have to think of a funny reference. This has got to be a funny review. Okay, it's like, um, any documentary. <laughs> I can't say that, no. Uh, okay, it, it's like, um, any serious commentary on the United Kingdom. It always, always makes me laugh because it's so funny and it's such a funny uh, show. Um, Angel Dust is my favourite character. Even though he's a bloke, I would still absolutely uh, do him in a heartbeat. And by do him, I mean I would do him a good one by pulling up to his house at four in the morning and tidying up because he's fucking lazy git and probably his house is, is very messy. And I'd, I'd clean up his house and uh, I would 
probably then like go and talk to him and like play a game with him or something and then like we'd go and get like some McDonald's or something and like actually who the fuck eats McDonald's at four in the morning? You'd have to be a fucking sadist to do that. So so yeah, um <laughs> this is such a fucking awful review. Can you imagine someone like that fucking go on the, the comment the other day that thought I was like being serious when I uploaded This is so fucking bad. <laughs> I've got to cut some of this stuff out. Yeah, um, but being serious for a minute, I'd, I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. Uh, it, it, it was funny, because it's a comedy show, it was funny, but it, it was like, uh, some jokes were like, not funny, and there was some like, exposition-y dialogue, like, that felt forced in, like, uh, like I can't make a rape joke, I can't make a fucking rape joke, uh, fuck, this is actually so bad, I have no comedic timing. Okay, it's a 6 out of 10, 6 out of 10, fuck you, bye.